Hey everybody, Bob here. I've got a new match, and uh, yeah, I wanted to apologize for the lack of recent uploads. Um, I, you know, just been doing some other stuff, but uh, I am back, and I'll be uploading this and uh, maybe another match, or at least one tomorrow. Um, it will be Halloween, but I don't really care. I don't like Halloween. Anyway, so the match is against somebody named Cromwell from Pokemon Online, and looking at his team, I see some potential Baton Pass stuff. Um, and I think, I w uh, initially I was thinking that that Jolteon might be trying to baton pass a, um, uh, a sub over to Cloyster. That would make it dangerous. Um, but, uh, he leads with, uh, Persian, and it does a lot of damage to my Espeon with the Fake Out. But I decided to switch over to Electrode because a lot of what physical attacking Persian, uh, will be attacking with is contact moves. So I figured Static might be able to paralyze him. As I go for the Volt Switch, uh, he brings in that Jolteon. So I'm just going to have to uh, standard, like, regular switch. I don't really have anything that wants to take a Thunderbolt or anything, though. So I just hope that he's going to go for Shadow Ball, because Jolteon doesn't have too, too much of a move pool. So, um, yeah, it turns out that Staraptor was the best choice. And he, goes, uh, he double switch there, because apparently he was choice. I'm guessing Specs. Um... Anyways, so I'm just going to go over to Terrakion because, you know, whatever. Uh, take the fake out, but now I'm just going to one-hit this Persian. Um, I guess he thought I would be Choice Band or something, and not like a huge, huge threat to his team. But I love using Scarf Terrakion. He's just awesome. He, he really is just game-breaking. But, uh, so, he, he knows that I'm Scarf, so he's just going to go to Nidoking, King, who looks like a Nidoking Queen in my opinion. So I'm just, uh, I thought he would be a physical attacking one, because a lot of the ones in 4th gen were physical attacking, but I guess 5th gen uses a lot of special attacking Nido Kings. Uh, so I'm just going to get a Brox with my mill tank. I was debating whether to go for that or Body Slam, but I do go for Rocks because, you know, why not? And uh, I get him up, and that's cool. I think this uh, Nido King is Life Orb, but don't quote me on that. I'm not exactly sure how Sheer Force works, but anyway. Um, so I'm just going to Hydro Pump it. And uh, that that works. Um, so here, I thought I would be faster than his uh, Jolteon switch in. Whenever he decides to switch in Jolteon, there it is. I knew it was. I knew it was coming. Um, anyway, I thought I, I was kind of debating on switching out, but then I'm like, wait a minute, I'm Scarf, and Jolteon's like, wait a minute, I don't care. Um, he's just gonna outspeed me and carry me with that. But uh, now, I'm just gonna. What do I do? Okay, I go to Electric. Because Electro is spec, so I thought this would do a good bit. And it kinda does. Um, now this is important. No, no, it's not really, but it's kind of important. He gets paralyzed by my static as he goes for the U turn. Um, I'm not sure whether that mattered. In no, wait, no, it didn't. It didn't matter in the long run, but it was kinda neat. Um, yeah, because he was. He, I had Stealth Rocks up anyway, it didn't matter. Anyway, um, so I'm just gonna uh, get some damage with, uh, with that. Um, HP Ice, and now I'm checking his team, and it looks like Terrakion's got, uh, got the green light. So I'm just gonna stay in and stone edge everything until I win. And, um, yeah, that's, that's just kinda what Terrakion does. He's good at it. Um, yeah, look at this. He's gonna one-hit that Dragonite. I don't know what kind of set it was uh, running. It might have been, like, a bulky one, but maybe not. I don't know. We'll never know, because I just destroyed it. Uh, Cloyster's gonna come in, and uh, in previous generations, Cloyster was a physical tank, but now that he's uh, running more offensive sets, uh, that's easily gonna one-hit him. And last but not least is Jolteon, who I guess was his favorite or something. But, uh, yeah, so Terrakion. Everybody loves Terrakion. But, yeah, in my opinion, that was a really good match, and uh, it was really fun. So, um, you know, if, uh, if you're watching Cromwell, I kind of doubt you are, because I didn't tell you I had a YouTube page, but if you are... Hit me up sometime, we'll play again. Anybody else want to play me? Just uh, send me a message on YouTube or leave a comment on one of my videos or whatever, I don't care. Um, I'll play you. But uh, that's all I really got for you, so till next time, have a good day.